A cordial greeting to you all. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 7 a.m. local time in western Cuba, where residents should already be prepared to face Hurricane Rafael, which, unfortunately, has been strengthening significantly over the past 12 hours and is close to reaching Category 2 status. Currently, it has maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers per hour. So, Hurricane Rafael has been intensifying faster than anticipated, and it's even possible it could reach major hurricane status or Category 3 as it moves over Cuba. In the infrared satellite image, we can see the structure of Hurricane Rafael continuing to improve this morning. We're also starting to see an eye clearing out, which are signs of strengthening, and this has been confirmed by a Hurricane Hunter plane investigating the system and finding that barometric pressure continues to drop. Unfortunately, over the next 12 hours, Hurricane Raphael will continue moving over very warm ocean surface temperatures with a high heat content, allowing it to keep strengthening quickly before moving over Cuba. Residents in western Cuba should be completing preparations this morning because Hurricane Raphael will bring extreme winds and significant rainfall accumulations. In terms of intensity, models continue projecting a rapid intensification process over the next 12 to 24 hours, with some even showing it could reach Category 3 status. However, the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center predicts that it will reach Cuba with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour or 175 kilometers per hour. Here we can see the official projected track from the National Hurricane Center, which shows that it's expected to enter just south of San Cristobal this afternoon. But it's important to note that, with this trajectory, the strongest part of the hurricane will remain to the northeast, affecting areas like Havana, Artemisa, and San Cristobal. For Pinar del Rio, Tropical storm conditions are expected. Here you can see the projected wind gusts for this afternoon, and the strongest winds should be felt across cities like Cabezas, San Jose de las Las, Havana, Artemisa, Cayo Largo, and Nueva Girona, all of which will experience hurricane force winds. In other areas like Varadero, Cardenas, Hoyo Grande, Pinar del Rio, and Los Palacios, some tropical storm force gusts could be recorded. Additionally, with the heavy rains, accumulated rainfall between 150 to 175 millimeters is expected where the center of circulation passes, impacting places like San Jose de las Lajas, Havana, Artemisa, Los Palacios, Nueva Girona, and Cayo Largo. I'm particularly concerned about the situation in Havana, where a significant rain event could cause major flooding across the city. After crossing over Cuba, models project that it will continue moving northwest over the next 36 hours and then, between Thursday and Friday, it should begin to turn west. However, there is still some divergence in possible scenarios, with some models showing a path toward Louisiana while others project a more westerly route toward the Mexican states. This uncertainty is unusual in these types of forecasts, and we'll still have to wait and see which of these two paths Hurricane Rafael will follow. Fortunately, conditions in the Gulf of Mexico appear to be conducive to weakening later this week due to dry air and wind shear that should affect the storm circulation. Let's take a look at some projections from the global models. Here we have the American model, which generally shows Hurricane Rafael reaching the central Gulf of Mexico in the early hours of Saturday. But then, from Saturday through Tuesday, we see that the American model basically dissipates the hurricane over Gulf waters, sparing the Gulf states. This would be the best case scenario, but we still need to see what happens with this hurricane, especially considering the European model projection. Initially, it shows a path similar to the American model, placing Hurricane Rafael in the central Gulf of Mexico by Friday night. But over the weekend and early next week, it shows a track turning southwestward towards sectors of Veracruz and Tamaulipas by Monday. At least it shows it as a tropical storm, which means conditions won't be favorable for it to remain a hurricane before impacting any Gulf state. We can see these two scenarios in the ensemble members of the American model. Most of them maintain this path eventually moving northward near Louisiana, but as a weak tropical storm or even dissipating. On the other hand, the European model has many members with a path toward the west, then moving southwest until reaching a sector on the coast of Tamaulipas or Veracruz, but as a weak tropical storm. So, while there's still some uncertainty about its future path for the weekend and early next week, the good news is that it seems likely to weaken quickly while moving through the central Gulf of Mexico. Well, that's all for this forecast update. I hope our followers in western Cuba are in a safe place for the next 24 hours, and here on Hurricane Info, I will continue with this special coverage to keep you updated on any forecast changes. I'll record another video this afternoon or evening to update the forecast, so be sure to check if you're subscribed to my channel. If not, 
please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. Well, that's all for now, I'll see you this afternoon.